What was that? Did you say you want another product review? Another RV product review? Well, today is your lucky day. So if you know me, you know that I'm RVing full-time or I have been RVing full-time for the last year, but I am not retired. I'm not living off of savings to travel. I basically work every single day, actually. So a huge issue for me, a huge issue over the entirety of the last year for me has been internet, Wi-Fi, cell service, whatever you wanna call it, I'm always looking for it. If you've been following me for a while, you know that when I started my trip, I had a Sprint hotspot through a company called 4G Community that kind of just went bankrupt and just stopped giving me my Sprint hotspot service, even though I paid for a year, whatever, that's a different topic. But I basically never had service anywhere, anyway. So Sprint was the bane of my existence. They're not a good company. They have basically servers nowhere in the US. But I think I finally found a solution to my internet problems a full year later. Or at least we're gonna see if I found a solution. I just got it in the mail, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Alright, so now that we've opened up the WeBoost, checked it all out, seen kind of what it's about, we need to do the most important thing. And no, that is not mounting it on my RV. Currently my RV is stationary. It's in a spot where I have really great cell service because I'm on top of this mountain and I'm kind of like looking out over everything. I've got perfect cell service here. So I could test it here and I will, but this isn't going to be the test that I care about. So what we've done is we've mounted the exterior antenna to my tripod and then I'm going to drive around to spots that I know have very poor or no cell service around the area. There's plenty of them around here. So I'm going to drive around, stop, put this on top of my truck and see how much of an improvement this antenna is for our signal. Basically what I did was I downloaded an app. This app is called Network Cell Info Light. What it has is basically it shows the dB of my signal, which is basically how strong my signal is. It also shows me which cell tower I am currently connected to. This app is what I will be using to determine how well this antenna is working. But my main issue is not signal strength as much as it is having a signal in general. So I'm wondering if this thing will take me from a dead zone to a spot where I can have cell service. And just for reference, I do have T-Mobile. That's my only cell provider, so that's what we'll be going off of. And T-Mobile is GSM cell towers. So I'm not sure how this will work with CDMA, which is Sprint and Verizon, but Verizon already has pretty good coverage, and I don't think you're ever gonna get anything out of Sprint. So that's, that's what we're doing here today. All right, so we made it out here. I'm at House Mountain right now, which I've been to before and I know has basically zero cell service for me. I think I had a little bit at the top of the mountain, but everywhere down here it was a dead zone last time I came. So this is gonna be a good first place to test it out. This will see if I can get service from a place that I just don't have any service. So, uh, just to give you a look at my setup. So that is the interior booster and it's connected down here. This is the system that connects the interior and exterior antennas. And then the external antenna is on a tripod in the bed of my truck. All of these antennas and boosters are connected via coax. The main WeBoost signal booster is right here and it's plugged in via a 110 volt outlet in my center console. And yeah, so we should be good to go, good to test it out. So let's pull out the cell phone and then we're gonna see what it looks like before turning the booster on and then after turning the booster on. So let's get that done. So no connection right now. 
Uh, seems like we're bouncing between edge and no connection at all. So as you can see, that's zero bars currently. It's getting some signal every once in a while, but zero bars. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Wii Boost. Seems like we got back the edge network. Not much else. Let's see if I can use my cell phone from here. All right, unable to use the cell phone, unable to get an internet connection, and all in all, not beneficial. All right, so that's the first location, and it had zero effect. I did not pull a better signal. I didn't pull a signal whatsoever. It seemed like it was trying to, like it went from nothing to an edge network, but the edge network doesn't do anything, and I can't call, and I can't get data, so basically nothing no no benefits out here uh, I am surrounded by woods I'll show you the exterior of the car now just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at that's the antenna right there it's going in and I'm surrounded by mountains and woods so not a super forgiving landscape but still the Wii Boost did not do anything here all right, so we have arrived at the second location. I'm out in front of a sheet, a shell. Can you see it? Same setup, we got the antenna in the back. I don't know if you can see that right there. Got the Wii Boost and the external antenna is going to be right here, or the internal antenna, sorry. Let's go ahead and test it out. So once again, here is the signal. signal zero bars with an X in the bar section and that's a negative 111 negative 141 on the neighbor that's nothing at all so basically we're getting a really really crappy signal and that's about it so now to turn on the system looks like that is an LTE signal still got an X up there up oh, there it goes let's see can we get to the internet so you pixel refresh this page. There you go, we got to the come on, focus. We got to the internet. That's great. Alright, so here at this point that's a little bit closer to civilization, I was able to get a signal from nothing, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking to get a signal in places where I wouldn't normally have signal. So that's one that I didn't get anything, one that I got a better signal, and I should probably get out of here because I look really weird setting up little things and doing videos in random parking lots. So next stop is I'm going to go to an area where I know that I have signal and see if it improves. All right. All right, guys, so here we are at the final place, right back at the RV. Uh, I know I have a good 4G signal here, but I'm wondering if I can get an even better signal with this signal booster. This is going to be the test that shows how much better your service or your signal or your speeds can get. And to do this, I'm going to run a speed test before and after I turn on the antenna. Same setup, got the antenna set up in the, in the bed of the truck and same exact setup inside. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. All right, so here's the speed test before. Twenty-two point three down and three point seven one up. All right, let's go ahead and check our other program. Here we can see what cell tower we're hooked up to and what our. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting negative one hundred and three. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. The system just came on. It takes a minute to propagate though. But would you look at that? Those speed increases. Wow. I have full bars LTE now and a 20, a plus 20 on my signal, which is really, really good. Or plus 15 about it looks like actually. All right, now we're gonna go back to the te speed test and run that again. As you can see before, last time we had 22.3 and 3.71 up. Here we go. All 
All right, downloads was slower this time, but uploads was substantially higher. So we're gonna go ahead and run that test one more time. Wow, that is much faster up, okay. Well, that was really fun. We got to actually go out and uh, enjoy this beautiful day today. It's so gorgeous out here in Tennessee right now. And let's go over my final thoughts about this WeBoost Drive 4GX. Now, this is not an installation video. I'm not going to install it on the RV today. Um, there's plenty of videos out there about how to install this thing. It's really not difficult to install. So I'm not gonna go over that, but I did want to go over this signal and if it actually boosts, how it boosts, how well the signal is boosted or how by how much the signal is boosted rather. And I think that we got a pretty good idea of that by driving it around to all these different areas. Basically, what I found out is that this will not help you if you are in a valley. If you're in some sort of valley and there's mountains on either side of you, dense trees, things like that, this is probably not going to help you because there's no signals for it to really capture. There's no clear line of sight for the WeBoost uh, Drive 4GX to receive. So it's not going to help you in certain situations. However, as we saw, the second place I went to was also blocked by a mountain, but it was not in a valley. So just because it was blocked by a mountain on one side, it was able to receive data still, it was able to still connect to that cell tower, and there were no issues there. So I was very impressed with that. So the WeBoost 4GX will get you signal in dead zones. So if you have, are in a complete dead zone, there is a possibility that this will be able to boost your signal enough for you to get signal somewhere where you did not have signal beforehand. Now, you can't go crazy, you can't be in a valley, you probably won't be in the Rockies in a valley and get signal, but if you're up high enough, you just might, in a place that you did not before. Now, secondly, is speeds. This was another very important thing to me, especially because I upload videos on my cell phone connection all the time. And the fact that this was able to boost the upload speeds from I think six megabytes or maybe even three all the way up to 12. Now that is very impressive. That literally doubled the speed of my up my uploads. So that's spectacular. The download speeds actually went down a little bit. That was probably just because in that instant the download speeds were faster or something like that, less traffic on the cell tower in that instant. But that drastic increase in upload speeds and that drastic increase, I think it was 15 decibels increased in signal strength. So I had full bars from about three bars to full bars using this WeBoost in an area where I already had 4G. What that tells me is this is pretty much a needed device on the road. Now there's a ton of different signal boosters out there. This one, I don't know if this is the best, but this is definitely a very popular one and it was extremely easy to set up it's lightweight it feels sturdy it feels good it feels like a really good product so i gotta say this i'm i'm thoroughly impressed with this i am real i didn't think it was going to do as well as it actually did i thought i was not going to be able to get service anywhere where i was in dead zones and this has proved me wrong so i will definitely have to rate this a five out of five if you are in an rv or a van i think this is necessary if you work every day like i do then this is necessary if you want to travel but you want to but you have to work to do it you don't you don't have retirement or you're not trying to travel on savings and then blow through your savings and then go back to work and then do that cycle where you travel for three months work three months if you don't want to do that if you don't want to deal with any of that and you work from the road this is a necessity i wish i had this when i started and if i knew what i know now i would have invested the 500 dollars for this WeBoost drive 4gx i would have invested that at the beginning of my journey rather than getting it a year in awesome product I'm really impressed. This was not a sponsored video. Uh, WeBoost did send me this out for free, so I, I'm super grateful for that. But this is not sponsored. This was not, they didn't tell me that I had to give it a good rating or anything. They wanted an honest opinion. And I gotta say, with products like these, you can ask people for honest opinions because you know that what they're gonna say is, is nothing but good things. So I'm impressed with WeBoost. I was impressed with their customer service. I was impressed with how well they spoke to me, how easy it was to talk to them, 
and all the representatives that I interacted with were just amazing. So that was really cool. And like I said, they seem to be for the RV community. Like they are putting out RV specific products, which is just awesome for all of us. And it just really shows that this company is geared towards what we are doing. So I think that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have this, if you love it, if you hate it, if you have a different one that you like more, if you've used more, just let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot of things this year, so you will want to be a part of it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. We boost, we boost every day. We, we, we boost, we boost.